by coming into this posture is called Supravada Kanasana, reclined bound angle, angle pose. You put your feet together and you're going to lie down on your back. Place one hand in your belly, one hand on your heart. Close your eyes and just start to breathe smoothly and let go of any tension in your body. So you're consciously trying to smooth out any rough edges of your breath. Because the more rough your breath is, the more, and I'm not speaking about the smell of your breath, the more the, edge, the edges of your exhale are jagged, the more your mind's going to be all over the place. So you really need to start to try and smooth out your breath as you breathe out. So relax your jaw and your shoulders and just be aware of your belly rising and falling as you're breathing in and out. So abdominal breathing again, so breathing to, with your belly is also good for stress relief. So making sure you're smoothing out your exhale and your belly rising and falling with your breath. And this pose is really good as well. It's known as a restorative pose. You can even, you can do it at home um, in the evening and you, you can even place cushions underneath your knees or you can place cushions underneath your, the, underneath your shoulder blades and just open you up and just allow yourself to melt. So you're letting go of anything that's been happening to you, anything that's going to happen to you and just allow this time to be yours. There's nowhere you need to go, nothing you need to do. You don't have to tidy your room or do any schoolwork. We're just gonna have a nice time here together. It's okay to be perfectly yourself. So from here, place your hands onto your knees, pull your knees into your belly, give yourself a wee hug, and roll from side to side. And then before we start doing our moving about malarkey, we're going to, you're gonna choose some cards okay so you're choosing one two or three okay so think to yourself which card you're going to choose today and now i'm going to read you them and see which card you chose so number one was this one number one is good things will happen when you give yourself some of the love you give to others and number two is this one and it is time and nature will help you find the answer to your problem number three is quite relevant this isn't what you expected to happen but trust that it's part of the plan well that's a good one so let's hope we all chose number three there okay so you're gonna come and sit up nice and tall your back straight your legs crossed Let's warm ourselves up and then we'll flow our bodies a little bit. Okay, so start by rolling your heads around a big circle, keeping your jaw and shoulders nice and relaxed, your belly pulled in towards your spine, pull that belly button in and round the other way. Coming back to neutral spine, drop your right ear down towards your right shoulder. Keep lengthening through the spine and your shoulders are nice and relaxed. Smooth out the rough edges of your breath. Keep your head back up to center. Drop the left ear down towards your left shoulder. Smooth out the breath. And you can try and imagine you're breathing into your shoulder blades there. Keep your head back up to center. Look over your right shoulder. So still lengthening up through the spine. Smoothing out your breath. And then let's look over the other shoulder. And take your head back to center. Let's shrug away our worries now. Breathe in, breathe out. And then roll, slowly roll your shoulders back in big, deep circles, round the other way. And then get your hands to face each other. Breathe into the left, breathe out to the right. Breathing in and breathe out with a 
One more time. Breathe in. And then come and sit on your heels. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Breathe in, bring your chest and throw forwards. Breathe out, curve your spine around, tuck your chin in. So breathe in, come forwards, and breathe out. Go the other way. And then coming back to cross-legged position, we're going to do something called swoopy grinding. So you're rolling this middle part of your body, keeping your shoulders relaxed, nice deep breaths. So this is really good for all your internal organs. If you've not been moving around enough, you feel a bit ugh, sluggish. So it's going to help you get motivated again. So it's, it, we're moving into the new moon. So just now it's called the balsamic moon. It's a really dark and dingy and there's not much light so our energies are really low so we want to do things that's going to lighten us and feel a bit brighter so place your left hand down to your left side breathe in take your right arm up and over looking up at that right hand that's facing down draw your left shoulder away from your ear nice deep breaths and releasing let's go the other side looking up at that left hand draw that right shoulder away from your ear and then releasing. Place your right hand onto your left knee. Left hand on the floor behind you. Breathe in to lengthen and breathe out to twist. Breathe in, lengthen. Breathe out to twist. And then release to your left hand onto your right knee. Right hand on the floor behind you. Breathe in, lengthen. Breathe out to twist. Breathe in, lengthen. Breathe out to twist. And release. Let's. Let's do the cow's face pose. This is the one that makes you feel all radiant and nice. So get that right leg lifted up and place it over the bent left knee. So you're either staying there or you're taking each foot to either side. Make sure you're not sitting on your heels now. Take that right arm all the way up to the sky. Take it down the back and the left arm's coming underneath to try and hold on. So open up in that right armpit, tuck the chin in. Breathing in to lengthen and breathe out to let go. Let go of any negativity that you're holding on to. Breathe in healing and peace and love and breathe out any rubbish that's going on for you just now. Take your arms out in front of you. You're going to take your right arm, cross it over and wrap it around the left. And then if you don't have shoulder problems, lift your elbows up. Nice deep breaths. This is really good if you've got lots of tension in your shoulders just now. And then releasing. Let's do the other side. So back to cross-legged position. Get that left leg, lift it up and take it over the bent knee. Either stay there or take each foot to either side. Just making sure your knees, your ankles aren't shouting at you. Take your left arm all the way up to the sky. Take it down your back and the right arm's coming underneath to hold on. Opening up in that left armpit, tuck the chin in and draw the crown of the head up to the heavens. Really breathe in to take all this love and positivity and healing into your body. Breathe out and let go of any of the rush, any of the worries, the fears, the anger. So breathe in good and breathe out bad. You can imagine it like breathing in a white light and breathing out like dark grey smoke. And then take your arms out in front of you, the left arm's crossing out to wrap around the right. If you don't have shoulder problems, lift these elbows up, nice big deep breath. And then releasing. So you're moving onto your hands and knees now. We'll go sideways for you here. So you're breathing in to curve your spine. You're looking up, breathing out to curve your spine the other way. Your gaze is at your belly button. So breathe in to go one way and breathe out to go the other way. And then from here, breathing out, sitting back on your heels. So take your head down and breathing in to come back up, to breathe out, to go down. So really try and connect your breath and your body. The more you can smooth out the breath, the more you can smooth out your mind.
And then from here, you're going to curl your toes under, push up into downward facing dog. So nice deep breaths. You can, you can begin to pedal your feet, move your heels up and down. And stay to the balls of your feet. You're breathing in and coming forwards for upward facing dog. Breathing out for down dog. So breathe in up dog. Breathe out down dog. Very good. And then lifting up your right leg. Bend your knee, open up your hip. Look over that left shoulder, see if you can spot the foot. Nice deep breaths. And then gently dropping that foot down, breathing and lift up the left leg, bend the knee, open up the hip, look on your right shoulder, nice deep breaths. And then release it. Breathe in, take your right foot forward, drop your left knee to the top of the left foot. And we're moving into crescent wind. So breathing in to open up in the chest, breathe out, hands to heart center, keep going. And then take your left elbow to the outside edge of your right thigh. Palms together, looking over that right shoulder. Keep your shoulders relaxed, move out your breath. And then releasing. Place your hands to inside of the foot. Walk, walk your hands a bit lower if you can to the inside of your foot. I'll go back a little bit here so you can see. So it doesn't matter if your elbows are down or if you're still up there. Just breathe into where you are today. You hold a lot of tension and emotion in your, your pelvic area. So every time you breathe out, just let go a little bit further. Make sure you're not holding tension in your body. Breathe in, come back up, and then curl, and then hand to the front of your mat, and then push back into downward facing dog here. Yeah. Okay, breathing in, take that left foot forward, drop the right knee, the top of the right foot, arms all the way up to the sky, curl the foot. Breathing in, and breathing out, keep going. Take the right elbow to the outside edge, the left thigh, palms together, looking over that left shoulder. Nice deep breaths. Make sure you're not holding tension in your jaw or shoulders. Then releasing, place your hands to the inside of the foot. You can walk the foot out a little bit if you like, and then come forwards. Just breathe into where you are today. If you're feeling all stiff and tight, it's okay. It's a Monday. We're all feeling a bit emotional just now. It's all good. Be where you're at. Absolutely perfect, just as you are. Breathing in, slowly come back up, and then you're going to push back into downward facing dog. Breathe in, take your right foot forward, swivel the back foot, bend the front knee. Go this way so I can see you. We're moving into warrior one. Okay, so your heel to heel here. Your your foot at the back is a slight angle. Bend that front knee. So you're going to breathe in to straighten that front leg, breathe out to bend it. Keep going. Your next time you breathe out, keep that knee bent and then breathe in to lengthen through the spine. Breathe out, draw your shoulder blades together. Breathe in, straighten that front leg, reach back, either hold the elbows or palms together. Breathe in to open up in the chest and breathe out, hold forward. Breathing in, to come all the way back up. Releasing your hands, hands to either side of that front foot, push back into down dog. Breathe in, take your left foot forward, swivel the back foot, bend the front knee, moving into warrior one on the other side, arms all the way up the sky. Breathe in, straighten that front leg, breathe out to bend it, keep going. And then your next exhale, keep that knee bent, breathe in to lengthen through the spine, breathe out, draw your shoulder blades together, keep going. Breathing in, straighten that front leg, reach back, either hold the elbows or palms together, breathe in to open up in the heart. Breathe out, fold forward, remember to relax your jaw and your shoulders, draw your belly button back, 
Breathing in to come all the way back up, releasing your hands, hands either side of that front foot, push back into down dog. Breathe in, lift your right leg all the way up the sky, and breathe out, take your foot forward, so it's in between your hands, swivel the back foot, bend the front knee. So you're moving into warrior two. So I'll go this way, you don't have to dance around like me, it's just so you can see. So you're looking along that front arm, but now you're gonna curl the fingers around your thumbs and draw back your bone out of your left elbow. Really bend that front knee, look along that front arm, nice deep breaths. Take the left hand to the back of the left thigh, breathing in, take your right arm up and over. And then releasing, straightening that front leg. We're gonna go to the other side now. So bend the left knee, opening up your arms, draw back your bone out with your right elbow, looking along that front arm, nice deep breaths. Take your right hand to the back of the right thigh, breathing in, left arms up and over. Then releasing, straightening both legs and turning to the right. So your feet are now parallel, your legs are straight. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Breathe in to open up in the chest. Breathe out, fold forward. So really softening that space in between your shoulder blades. Breathing in to come all the way back up. And then from here, you're stepping forward to your mat, to the front of your mat. And we're going to do a little bit of balancing. I'm aware we've got, we don't have lots of time, so not fair. So take your right foot to the left ankle, or to the calf, or to the inner thigh, or to the half lotus, depends where you are today. Hands to your heart centers, and then arms all the way up guy into tree pose. Either make your tree big today or palms together. Where do you want your tree to be? I want a big tree today. And then take your left fingertips into a mudra. Your right hand's reaching back, that right foot flowing forwards. I'll go sideways so you can see. Going into dancer pose or superhero pose, natrajasana, whatever you want it to be. It's all good. And then release. Let's do the other side. So before you do the other side, think about how you feel. Okay? And let's do that other side. So left foot to your right ankle, or to your calf, or to your inner thigh, or to your half lotus. Hands to your heart center, arms all the way up the sky. Do you want a thin tree or a big bushy tree? Whatever your tree wants to be today. It's your tree. It's all good. Speaking of so much rubbish today, I'm nice. Okay, so from here, take your right fingertips into a mudra, reaching back that left hand and flowing forwards. Ooh, and not trying not to wobble like me into Natarajasana. And then releasing. Move into the front of your mat, breathing in, take your arms up. Breathe out to fold forwards. Breathe in to come halfway up, lengthen through the spine. Breathe out, hands in your mat, and step back to plank pose. Hands underneath your shoulders. Nice deep breaths, tuck your chin in. Drop your knees, drop your chest, and drop your pelvis. Breathe in, come up into cobra pose. Shoulders are back and down, tuck your elbows in. So imagine you're breathing that health and the love and the positivity into your heart center here. So imagine your heart is like a magnet for good things. And then breathing in to come back up, sitting back on your heels, resting your head down. Coming up into squatting position and take your arms out in front of you, resting your head down. Nice big deep breaths. And down onto your bottoms and take your legs out in front of you. From here, you're going to breathe in, lift up and breathe out, fold forward. So try and keep your arms by the side of your ears when you do this. Breathing in to come up, keep your arms by the side of your ears. Breathe out, fold forward. So not cheating to bend your knees, just 
try and keep your arms your, by your ears. You're not taking your head to your legs or your hands to the floor. Work with the breath and really try and keep your spine nice and long. Okay, and then you're gonna fold forward. So you can hold on to your toes if you like, and bend your knees to do that. Just imagine you're breathing into the back of your body again. Relax your jaw and shoulders. Breathing in to come all the way back up. From here you can move into either the Karate Karani like this, or you're gonna push down with your elbows and you're gonna come into shoulder stand. So nice deep breaths. And after two breaths in shoulder stand, you might want to take your legs over your head, either keep holding onto your hips or take your arms over your head to try and reach for your toes. If you can reach for your toes, you're gonna to dip your hips. Place your hands onto your hips and slowly allow yourself to come down. Okay, moving onto your belly. And just to balance that out, we're gonna skydive. So you're gonna lift up your arms and your legs and let's do a bit of skydiving. So close your eyes and just imagine you're free. And then stack your hands in front of you, rest your forehead down. Feel the energy flow through your body now. Feel how lighter and brighter you feel compared to how you did at the beginning. And now if you want to, you're gonna roll onto your back. So you can stay on your front here, whichever you want to. So either roll onto your back into relaxation or stay lying there. Called Makrasana, the, the crocodile pose. If you want to be a crocodile, that's just fine with me. So your relaxation today. I know it's a bit it's a bit silly and childish, but I'm I'm a bit silly and childish sometimes, and we all should be. It keeps you happy. So my granddaughter's favorite stories that she had that I read her is Alison and one Alice in Wonderland, not Alison. <laughs> That's another story. So we're going to do a relaxation on the Mad Hatter's tea party. So lie down and relax. Let go of any tension in your, your, in your fingers and your toes and your arms, your legs, your bottom and your pelvis and your spine and your shoulders, your stomach and your chest, back of your neck, in your throat, your jaw behind your eyeballs, your forehead and your scalp. Just feel yourself sinking down and let go. So be very still and imagine that you're in Wonderland at the Mad Hatter's crazy tea party. The Mad Hatter sits at the top of the table, pouring endless cups of tea from his enormous red and white spotty teapot. The March Hare is there, wearing a bow tie and being very silly. The Dormouse has fallen asleep with his whiskers in the teacup, and Tweedledum and Tweedledee are there singing their favourite songs as they roll around in their chairs. The Queen of Hearts is passing round her delicious jam tarts, and the huge green caterpillar is there talking to the white rabbit who keeps looking at his watch. The Cheshire cat is sitting on the table grinning his enormous grin. Everyone is dressed in brilliant coloured clothes. Everyone seems so happy. You feel so happy. Sitting at the party, surrounded by happy people. It feels such fun and everyone is having a marvellous time laughing and joking and singing merrily. The Mad Hatter offers you another cup of tea. And with each sip of tea, you feel more and more happy. I'm a bit like that with tea, I must admit. So this is such a strange, but wonderful, wonderful wonderland. With this magic tea, 
And everyone is always so happy. The Cheshire cat smiles at you with his pearly white teeth. Smile back. How do you feel when you smile? This is a wonderful place. And the Mad Hatter has invited you to come back whenever you feel a bit sad or lonely, as he knows everyone will cheer you up. So think about the last time you felt really happy. Think about how it made you feel. Come back to that happiness. So anytime you're feeling a little bit low or not yourself, you can come back. To memories of happiness. And I'll take you there just for just for a little moment. And now, when you're ready, you're going to begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. You start to move your body, bend your knees, pull your knees in, give yourself a wee hug. Pull your knees in and roll from side to side and roll onto your right side into recovery position. Stay there. And gently push yourself up to seated position, placing your hands in Anjali Mudra. Close your eyes, keep your eyes closed and say to yourself, I am happy. I am happy. I am peaceful. I am peaceful. I am calm. I am calm. And we're going to end with an om. Here we go. Namaste. Thank you for practicing yoga with me today. It's been absolutely wonderful to see you. I'll just switch you off here. There we go. <laughs>